our lab's not as interested in some of mm -hmm. these new stimulation methods, like whether it's electrical stimulation or ultrasound, but actually something that I'm um, really looking into right now is uh, more of a pharmacological intervention. So the galantamine supplement, which has been shown to help with lucid dreaming, it's kind of you know, one of the most effective techniques that hasn't really been explored as much as some of these other, you know, auditory or visual cueing methodologies. So Dash and I each have some open BCIs as part of our external lab. And we've been taking galantamine and wiring ourselves up to open BCIs, which has produced an extremely high success rate of lucid dreaming. So if I if I may jump and say what the open BCI is, um it's it's an it's a portable EEG and you can take it home and you can use it as if you were doing the EEG um, in the lab. Would you guys say that right now the focus is still kind of on inducing lucid dreams reliably or what other things can these technologies be used for? It's actually less about induction techniques and more about kind of trying to translate some of these methods and approaches to a broader audience, like, and especially um, in relation to certain like clinical conditions, like whether that's uh, sleep apnea or nightmares or insomnia or yeah just really any of these kind of sleep related disorders i think we're trying to think about you know how can we use these techniques to help a broader audience at home mm -hmm.